Welcome to another GNU Cash Quick Start Tutorial. I'm Laura from the BusyBeePost.com. I'm here to show newbies how to get the most out of free GNU Cash accounting software for their small business bookkeeping needs. If you like the tutorial, please subscribe and give a thumbs up. It lets me know the video is helping, which encourages me to produce more videos. In the previous tutorial, I walked you through the steps of installing and setting up GNU Cash business accounts. In this tutorial, I will give you a basic tour of the GNU Cash interface so that you can become familiar with the layout and how things work. Each time you open GNU Cash, you will find that the tip of the day screen pops up, ready and available to offer helpful tips about using the program. These helpful tips provide useful information for beginning users. To view more of the tips, click on next to continue viewing the tips. When you have finished viewing the helpful tips, click close to close out the tip of the day. If you don't like the idea of seeing these tips pop up every time you open the program, click on the check mark next to show tips at startup to remove the check mark which will deselect this feature. At the very top of the business accounts window is the title bar, which displays the file name for this set of business accounting records. The title will only appear here once you have saved the file. In the previous video, I walked you through the steps of naming and saving your files and folder. If everything was done correctly, that file name should appear here in the title bar. Below the title bar is the menu bar. Clicking on a menu bar title heading opens up the menu items for that heading. If you move the mouse pointer over the menu item, the description of what this menu item does can be seen on the bottom of the page. To select a menu item, you simply click on it. If you look here on the right side of the menu, you can see the keyboard shortcut you can use to access that particular menu item. Below the menu bar is the toolbar, which contains buttons for quick access to common functions. If you're not sure what a specific toolbar button does, move the mouse pointer over that toolbar button and a description of the function will appear. Below the toolbar is the GNU Cash account tree for this set of business accounts. The account tree window is the first window to appear when you first start the program, right after you close out the tip of the day. GNU Cash refers to it as the account tree. In accounting terms, it is known as the chart of accounts. Here you have the five basic category of accounts used in accounting by a business or an organization to classify and distinguish financial transactions conducted during a specific accounting period. These five basic categories is what you will use to keep track of your business accounting records. The asset category keeps track of the things the business owns, such as money in your business checking account. The equity category keeps track of the business's overall net worth. The expense category keeps track of your legitimate business expenses, such as purchasing office supplies or products to sell or any expense that is necessary for your business to run smoothly. The income category keeps track of the business gross earnings. The gross earnings is all the money you are making in the course of your business. This amount does not reflect the business deductions or liabilities. And last but not least, the liabilities category keeps track of how much money the business owes. For example, say you purchased products for your business from a vendor on credit. This is a liability, meaning money the business still owes. Any money the business owes will be recorded in the liabilities category.
Clicking on the small triangle to the left of an account will expand the account tree view to reveal the child accounts also referred to as subaccounts. Each subaccount has a checkbook register. Entering data into a checkbook register is how you keep track of your financial transactions. If you look on the bottom of the screen, you can see the status bar, which keeps track of the current status of your business. Net assets keeps track of how much the business owns. Profits keeps track of how much money you made so far in the course of your business. I talked about how the income account reflects your gross earnings. Well, the profit amounts, which will be shown here, will be your income minus your business expenses and liabilities, the things you owe. The accounts register window is where the entry of all your financial data takes place. To open the register window of any one of the sub accounts, you can right click on the account name and select open account from the menu, or you can use the open button on the toolbar or you can simply open the sub account by double clicking on the account name. As you can see here, as the name suggests, account register windows look similar to a checkbook register. The title tab at the top contains the account name. Both the account tree window and the checkbook account register window contain toolbar buttons. The difference here is the checkbook register has additional toolbar options. Toolbar buttons simplify common data entry functions. To close out any register window, click on the X across from the title. These simple features gives GNU Catch much of its power in managing your finances. Check out my description below for helpful information and links and update on the topic of my next video. If you have any comments, please don't hesitate to leave it in the comments section.